This video is sponsored by Discover Data Science, powered by Wiley, the premier information hub for the field of data science. More about this in the video later. So data analytics and data science uh, has really no clear responsibilities. In terms of standardization, there is no standard definitions of what exactly are the clear responsibilities of a data scientist and a data analyst. So many companies, depending on the type of company, it could be a small, medium or a large corporation, depending on the type of the company, uh, the roles are defined differently. So always trying to understand what exactly are the different roles in different companies will better help you to understand which kind of role suits better. Then giving yourself some time for job search and interview process. When it comes to data science and data analytics, what happens is that since there are so many companies that are giving these different roles, there is no clear cut interview process for each types. So some companies might, might focus more on uh, just the machine learning part of it. Some companies might focus only on the uh, exploratory data analysis and focus more on your data cleaning skills. So trying to uh, understand what your strengths are and uh, what you can bring to in the interview process will take time. It's always good to give yourself some time to understand what your strengths are and how you can tackle these interview processes. So if you are currently looking for some great programs in the field of data science, data analytics, you should check out uh, Discover Data Science, which has guides on careers degrees and industry leading programming languages. Discover Data Science, uh, the goal of Discover Data Science is to provide accessible resources and materials for prospective students and professionals. And through the Discover Data Science expert driven articles and publications, you will learn more about which data science degrees help accomplish your professional goals the tools and skills necessary for a successful career in the field, which career path appeals to your personal interests, and how exactly to land a job in data science. And since the data science jobs are growing rapidly at a global scale, with a growing need for this field uh, of professionals, it's never been better time to earn your degrees and pursue a career in this field. Begin your data science journey by visiting discoverdatascience.org powered by Wiley or visit the link in the description below. Now let's get back to the next thing that I wish I knew. So once you have given yourself some time and you have understood what are the different job responsibilities? The next most uh, underrated thing in, in the field of data is data cleaning. Data cleaning is super important for a data analyst as well as a data scientist because there is a lot of data that's being generated today, right? So in order for you to clean it up, it is a lot of data, right? So the cleaning part is the one that's most underrated and you to make sure that you have the right data to build those dashboards or reports or even any sort of models is really important. And then the fourth uh, thing that I wish I really knew, this is something that I guess not many people talk about, but when you are a real world data analyst, what happens is you tend to get a lot of ad hoc requests ad hoc meaning just someone just emails you and like you know here's what we want can you just pull up this report quickly so this is where some as data analysts you need to understand 
what exactly are your clear cut responsibilities and if it is really providing uh, a value to the organization in a long term so you need to understand and clear have that set that right expectations with your manager before you actually uh, you know take up some tasks ad hoc and you have when you realize that you have so many of them that you know you're not actually providing value to the organization in the strategy level so always try to minimize uh, the number of ad hoc requests uh, and also talk to your manager about how do you need to handle these kind of ad hoc requests i think this is the last uh, thing that i really wish i knew is power skills power skills i think i really talk a lot about power skills power skills are really important uh, for any data person and i think it's generally important for anyone uh, who is working in a technical field uh, because it helps you grow in your career as well as it helps you understand what exactly are the requirements from the business in order to solve you know uh, all complicated data science and data analytics uh, models in the future so you need to be firstly you need to be able to understand the requirements from the business folks then the second part of it is you need to translate your insights your what what you found out from the data you need to be able to translate that to a non technical person what comes in goes out so you need to understand what what you try to understand from the business you should be able to translate it to them in their own language so this is where the storytelling skills comes into picture and that is why power skills are really important for a data scientist and a data analyst and i hope this video helped you uh, don't forget to share and subscribe and like this video